everybody. Welcome to Cake Tasta Cakes. It's Jen, and I'm going to show you how to make snowflakes out of flowers and a wintry number. Okay, before we get started, if you guys need any tools or if you see something that you might like to have, I have a whole bunch of links down below in the description of the items that I use that you can check out if you want. Okay? All right, to make your snowflakes out of flowers, roll out your white pretty thin. You want it at a pretty thin consistency. And then find any type of flower mold that you have that has an even number of petals. Six or up, that you have to have at least six because snowflakes all have six little spears coming out of them mainly, you know. So that's what we're going with. I use this daisy one. It has 12, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my little veining tool or whatever it is, and I am pulling out every other petal. And I stick it in the center, as you see, and I pull it straight out. So that way it kind of frays the edge in the center and already kind of gives it more of a snowflake look. You see how I did that already? We're cheating the system here. And I'm going to decorate the petals by pressing down on the outside. I do three little presses just to kind of flatten it out and rough it up. And I match them up on either side, so the three little dents on each side are in line with each other and makes it a little more symmetrical. And makes it a little more ice crystal-y too. And I know it's, I have looked, it is such a pain in the butt to try to find good snowflakes online that are a good size, that aren't too thick or too thin. And I've looked at molds and they all kind of suck from what I, the reviews, I'm sure they work for some people, I don't know. But in order to go out and have to spend money on something you're going to do like once a year, maybe it's worth it. But this is just a nice little shortcut. And you also saw there I um, stuck a little hole in the center. Make it even more snowflakey right there with my little tool. And just let them dry. So this is just, like I said, a nice little shortcut so you don't have to spend the money. Spray them with some edible white shimmer like I did there. Boom. Snowflakes. Okay. It's not that hard. All right, I made a number eight to go with the snowflakes and I decorated it kind of wintry. So I'm gonna share it with you. You know, make whatever number you want. Like I said, this is my eight. I made it with a bunch of circles that I have from my little circle set that I use. I used a fatter one on the bottom, a skinnier one on the top. So it kind of looks more like a snowman, but with these little holes I'm punching out right now, it'll look very eight-ish. And I left it a little on the thicker side too. So that way I can either stand it up when it's hard or I can have it against the side of the cake without it looking ridiculous. So yeah, there you go. All right, I'm using my veining tool. I'm going to make just kind of like little swirls of ice or snow just to kind of crystallize it up. I don't know, frozen it up. This would even be good for a frozen cake. And um, I'm making just little pathways that it's going to take. It's going to be just a single line that branches out at the end. And when I add the white to it, I'm going to curl it. You'll see in a second here. I'm taking some white, rolling it very thin, as you can see, and I'm going to put it on, circle it around, just like I said. If it's too long, trim it, and just curl the tips of it. And I'm following the little trenches that I made, the little pattern, just so it kind of sits into the eight a little bit better. It doesn't stick out as much, but it's still there, you know? It still has presence, <laughs> a subtle presence, an elegant presence. Here's another piece. I just curled it off of there. Like I said, I'm going to have the single one and then the bunch of forks coming out. There you go. You're seeing it in action. I didn't lie to you. Okay, when you join the two together, just press them together with like the back of your fingernails or something. And it'll, it'll like that. And it'll come together very nicely. Unless you didn't add water. And then you have to add water like that. And then do it. <laughs> so I really should make a blooper reel one time because it would just be a never-ending circus of frustration for me and everybody who watches it. I did a little bit at the top as well, a little smaller one to kind of go with the flow of the first one. And again, it's just two forks on this one and curl off the edge. There you go. Looking lovely. Already it's kind of pretty. I'm going to add a little more details to it now. I'm going to put a little bit of snow here and there on it. So I'm having it since the letters, or excuse me, geez, number is going to be standing up no matter what. I'm pretending like it snowed and it settled on the top edges of it. So I put some on the bottom of the holes on the inside. I'm going to put a little on the top, as you can see there, and on the two sides as well for the big part of the eight. I'm using a white shimmer right there with the paintbrush. You can mix it with some vodka. You can mix it with water. I use water because I don't typically have vodka on hand. I'm more of a rum person, but that's just me. Anyway. Um, just painting over the white, make it a little more shiny, a little bit brighter of a white, because, I don't know, white gum paste 
honestly, it's it's white, don't get me wrong, but it could be brighter. I don't know. If you work with it, you know what I mean. And this adds a little sparkle to it. And now I'm using the back of my paintbrush. I'm dipping it in it. And I'm putting little dots, just little snowflakes. So they're little speckles of shimmer here and there. I'm doing it where the forks are, as you can see, just here and there, however many I want. I feel like it. I don't want to overwhelm it. I'm not going to do it all over. So it's more like I said before, kind of like the frozen when she's letting it go. I know, the old one. And little dusty stuff is coming out from the ends of the of the rays of snow like that. <laughs> I just described it perfectly. All right, now I'm using my paintbrush again, the back end of it, to press dents into it. I'm making little pits that I'm now pressing edible pearls into. I'm making the little pits into it and pressing it in so that way the little pearls are going to stay put. I'm putting a little water in there as well so that the pearl will kind of melt into the gum paste a little bit and it won't fall out. It sucks, as you guys probably know, when you work with pearls and you're sticking them on and then you hear that, that sound, that little pink, pink, tink, tink, you know, of the pearl falling off. Yeah, this, is, this will help avoid it, okay? So that's why I'm doing it. I'm putting it again toward the end of my little swirls where the magic is happening. And I'm not doing any rhyme or reason. I just put some in that I felt would look nice. And if you add a little too much water, use your paper towel and blot it. There you go. And because it looked a little boring, I put another one at the bottom, added a few more little dots there too, to make a very wintry and pretty number eight. So there you go. You cheated the system. You know how to make a wintry number. You know how to make snowflakes without buying a snowflake mold. So this, you know, this knowledge deserves a like and maybe even a subscribe, I'd say. And uh, please check out my other videos. But as always, guys, seriously, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.